quality of life medicine, usually the goal of the treatment is patient satisfaction. I tell them what I know, what we can do, and then let them decide, because it's their life. You know, as you see both patients, penile implant patients and uh, prostate cancer patients, when you do the consultation, preoperative consultations or the outpatient you know, visits, it is, is there any differences? It is, so we, because we have a very unique situation now in the hospital, I have to cover some other areas and uh, prostate cancer as a special one. So and my hours are, I have about 20% of the patients with prostate cancer and 80% with erectile dysfunction in oh. one day. Oh. So oh. I can immediately compare mm. both groups of the patients. Mm. So if the patient, he has no idea what's happening, mm -hmm. he has a diagnosis, a biopsy mm -hmm. and a PSA and everything mm -hmm. is finished, mm -hmm. is done. And he needs maybe 10 minutes to be informed about his disease mm -hmm. and the methods of treatments. Mm -hmm. And he, he knows there's just a few options for him. Mm. And actually there are only two options, to mm. die or to leave. <laughs> That's only two options. And of course he decided mm. to mm. get the, the, the last mm. one. And if you have a patient with erectile dysfunction um, or problems with uh, erection, mm. they, they, you need more time and you mm. have to be really patient because there are a lot of options. Mm. And one of them, maybe not the, the worst one, mm -hmm. to do nothing. Mm. Maybe he will be happy without erection mm. and uh, sure. without erectile function. And besides, Dr. Wilson mm. told us today that 20% of the patient, they do not use the penile implant, mm. but they feel better with mm. the penile implant. Mm. So uh, this category of the patients um, complicated and different mm. than uh, patients with prostate cancer. Mm. Mm. I think, you know, there's a, I, as I only see the penile implant patients, I never decide uh, what treatment he will get. Because uh, how can I know his, uh, his preferences? Let's say, what kind of treatment he likes, what kind of things they want. Nowadays, patients know better. Because uh, they study a lot on the, on the internet or they, they tried many of the other methods. So I just give them options. I tell them what I know what we can do and then let them decide because it's their life and uh, quality of life medicine is usually the goal of the treatment is patient satisfaction so that's why I think we have a less problem or less dissatisfaction with the treatment we offer them afterwards do you know this great paper which was uh, uh, created and wrote by uh, London Torst mm. with his uh, course criteria mm to uh, uh, pick yeah. up the mm. difficult patients. Mm. So we have um, to be very careful uh, within this 15 minutes or maybe 20 sure. minutes maximum of your time to uh, find out what kind of person do you have as a patient because some patients have unrealistic expectations and important is, to my opinion, uh, three things in this relationship. One is this, you have to respect your patient, doesn't matter whether he, is, uh, he likes him or not, you have to respect him as a person. And uh, the second, you have to treat him as an own father mm -hmm. yeah, or a son. That mm -hmm. is my criteria. I always mm -hmm. try, even it's, if the patient doesn't like me, you feel it. Because if you, sure. if you start to talk to him, you feel that mm -hmm. something wrong mm -hmm. with the patient. But, uh, try to stay quiet and mm -hmm. try to give him all information mm -hmm. you have Mm. But you shouldn't lie. You, mm. sh you, you must be realistic. And uh, the third one, I think it's mostly important. It, um, you shouldn't lie and uh, also to yourself. So you must maybe in this situation, or in, in, in this uh, short uh, period of time, uh, realize what is really good for the patient, what is not good. Maybe penile implant is one of the options for this patient, but Maybe it's not a good one for this particular patient. And so and I think we should learn more about this mm -hmm. patient education, to choose the right patient and the right decision, the right indication for this particular patient. And of course, you should know who are you and what can, I, can you do in this situation, not try to be a hero doing something which maybe 
it produced complications. What was the most valuable thing you got out of throughout this uh, prosthetic urology practice for the past years? Well, the first one is the patients and the pa patient psychology. I learned a lot of about patient psychology as well as a partner mm -hmm. psychology mm -hmm. relationship mm -hmm. between men and mm -hmm. women, which is really difficult. Mm -hmm. You can write tons of uh, <laughs> papers on it. And um, so the human sexuality is such unique. Mm -hmm. So I learned a lot of it. And we have a lot of things to discover. Mm -hmm. And another thing which is mostly important for me, mm -hmm. I found a lot of friends mm -hmm. among the urologists and penile prosthetic surgeons all over the world and one of them is for sure <laughs> you Mr. Park and uh, Dr. Wilson and uh, other doctors uh, we have a great meeting tomorrow I hope uh, you will enjoy staying mm -hmm. here and uh, you're always welcome to visit you as well as your team thank you very much okay I think I can summarize your answer in this sentence you got happiness out of your prosthetic practice am I correct yes of course definitely Thank you.